listen to truth since he is too poor to pay for parasites and liars! This spring, Missouri Western presented a theatrical classic with a twist. The Marriage of Figaro is a French restoration piece written in 1784 by Pierre Beaumarchais. The role of Figaro is played by Missouri Western senior Thomas Delgado. The story of the Marriage of Figaro centers around Figaro trying to marry his fiancée as his girlfriend Susan. And there is many people that are trying to either stop it from happening or continue to grant it to happen. And so a bunch of trouble comes up while they're trying to get married. Delgado finds a common connection with Figaro in the way they each view the world. I see a lot of myself in Figaro. I like to, I like to ask a ton of questions. He would rather have nothing than lie and cheat and steal his way to get to the top. And I think that this, this generation, this, this society now kind of think that's that kind of thinks, excuse me, that that's how things need to be ran and it's, and it's not. To present the story to a modern audience, director Trevor Belt took some liberties with the setting of the play, moving it from 1700s Seville to 1980s Miami. We thought that the 1980s Miami scene paralleled a lot of the, it paralleled the restoration theater, because in the 1780s, during this time period, it was about the lavish costumes and presentation, and everything was about being bigger and larger than life. And we thought, you know, what's a more relatable period than the 1980s, which are bigger and larger than life? Skyla Booth, who played the role of the Countess, had a lot of fun getting into the time period. It has been so much fun. The set is beautiful, beautiful colors, pinks and oranges and yellows, and that's been great. Um, the costumes are probably my favorite part. We've got the big hair wigs. All of us girls have these huge wigs. I have some shoulder pads in my costume, which is fun. They're all bright, bright colors. Just kind of give a little modern twist to an old, older play, which has been really fun for us. But the 80s aspect of it has just really brought out that script in ways that I, I wouldn't have even thought of. Restoration pieces traditionally focused on pure comedy or romance, but Figaro was unique for its time by introducing some controversial topics. In the first time in a restoration piece, it treated the people of higher stature as the idiots or the morons, the people that didn't know what they were doing, and treated Figaro, the servant, or the main character, as the person who had all his um, ducks in a row, so to speak. The Marriage of Figaro ran for two weekends, opening on February 19th and closing on the 27th. For more information on the theater department or to purchase show tickets, visit mwsutix.com. This is Jenny Swope for Griffin Update.